Well, it's been two weeks since the tragic Seoul ferry sunk off Korea's southwestern coast of Chindo Island, and the death toll has risen to 205 today, 97 still missing and presumed dead. We now connect live to our Connie Kim at the News Center for the latest. Now, Connie, uh, the weather has given rescue divers trouble in recent days. Uh, any progress today? Well, the weather conditions in Jindo seem to have improved compared to yesterday with the clouds clearing up and wave heights of just 0.5 meters. However, rescue operations are expected to get more difficult starting today as the currents in the area will get stronger with speeds of up to 2.4 meters per second. To help divers in the hostile environment, authorities will attempt to deploy a diving bell this evening at around 5 p.m. Korea time, about one hour from now for the first time since last week's accident. A diving Bell is a chamber that can be used as a base for divers, enabling them to stay underwater for about an hour without having to return to the surface. Now, 12 more bodies were discovered this afternoon, pushing the death toll to 205, with 97 still unaccounted for. A total of four student bodies were recovered on this Tuesday morning, presumed to be male high school students from Tanon High School. So far, more than half of the 64 cabins where the missing passengers are presumed to have been have now been searched. And uh, what about the ongoing criminal investigations? Uh, authorities appear to be casting a wide net. Well, the cases of the four ferrymates who have been arrested, including the vessel's first mate, known by his family name Kang, will be sent to prosecution. Kang reportedly called his employer, Cheongyejin Marine Company, when the vessel was listing, time he should have spent trying to save the ill-fated ferry and its passengers. Kang was also the one responsible for managing the amount of ballast water on the vessel, which is believed to be one of the factors that caused the ferry to capsize. Now, criticism against the crew who managed to evacuate is likely to expand, as phone logs show that a crew member called Cheongyejin Marine Company seven times prior to their escape from 9.01 to 9.37 a.m. Also this morning, the president of the Cheongyejin Marine Company, Kim Han-sik, was summoned for the first time. He's being looked at for any links between Yu byung the practical owner of the ferry operator. Investigations will be conducted to determine whether Kim was involved in any business irregularities such as embezzlement and tax evasion in connection with you. And Kanye, uh, President Park Geun-hye came out today to apologize for the government response to the Seoul ferry disaster. So uh, what exactly did she say? Well, the president's apology came after she paid her respects to the victims of the sunken Seoul ferry at Ansan Hwarang Memorial Hall. During a cabinet meeting, President Park narrowed in on the government's poor initial response to the tragedy, saying she regrets not having rooted out long-standing problems in society that contributed to the deadly accident. She then vowed to make right social irregularities to regain public trust and make Korea a safe place to live. To do that, President Park said a national safety ministry would be created under the prime minister's office to efficiently manage natural and man-made disasters. She also called on the cabinet to begin thinking of ways to revamp Korea's safety system and come up with appropriate measures. Well, that's all for me for now, but I'll be back in about two hours with more updates.